Uh, hey everyone, I'm Supriti. Uh, I'm a product manager with Mobile Teams uh, platform, and uh, I basically work on specifically on the meetings extensibility side, which is how basically you can extend your meetings with apps and make them more powerful. So today, the feature that I will be uh, showcasing is uh, the live share feature, which is an SDK that we released sometime last build. And over the last one year, we've added a bunch of capabilities on it. And as of now, the feature is live and uh, it is available both on desktop and mobile. So basically to start with uh, what what is exactly live share, right? So like think of live share as an SDK, which we have made available for our developers and partners so that they can translate and transform existing teams app that they have built into more collaborative experiences for their users. So uh, basically, if you have assume a meeting app which uh, you have created for users to collaborate on when they are within meeting. Now you want to extend that and make it multi user where users can come on it, co watch things together, maybe co create content or co edit maybe uh, a documentation or a presentation. All of that within the same team meeting so that everybody is together. Uh, that's where the live share uh, SDK comes into play. All right, so basically it's very similar to the PowerPoint live. Uh, if some of some of you have used that uh, in the past where uh, you basically can use the PowerPoint, but at the same time you have more collaboration capabilities. So think of this as the same capability that you can extend for your applications that you bring within teams and teams meetings so that folks can come together and work on it. And uh, what we see here, for example, on the right hand side is one of our early partners who had adopted this SDK. Uh, called hexagon basically where what we see is folks coming together in meetings and as you can see they can see where everybody is they can maybe comment on it they can annotate on it and basically make ultimately their meetings more productive instead of doing some of these things offline or putting in notes and then following it up later so uh, the idea here is that with your entire application that comes to the center stage of your meetings and it takes over the meeting stage so that all the work and collaboration can happen directly within there. The key thing that I do want to let everybody know is that from last build to this build, what we've done is we've added all the capabilities on mobile too, uh, along with desktop. Uh, so uh, now the entire experience that you see for live share uh, from a platform standpoint will be available on mobile too. That means you can start, for example, a live share session on mobile, completed end to end on mobile in case you have mobile first users who are fully on mobile, or you can have users sometimes some folks on desktop, some folks on mobile, and you will get the entire capabilities. So that's what this high level this feature is and that we have released. Now I'll move on to the next slide and to give a little bit of idea on some of the scenarios where live share basically can, you know, really uh, help you and you know really add value is for example let's say you know you are in a review uh, in a marketing review with your team on some videos that you have lately created and you want to get some feedback so everybody can come together in the meeting and the user can basically start uh, putting the video on the meeting stage, which which is your application that you have built. And from there, you can play and pause in between. You can comment, you can annotate, or if you want to edit some parts, trim plus trim some parts, all of that can happen together using uh, live share. Similarly, for example, let's say, uh, you know, uh, you want to basically are a manager who's trying to, you know, get consensus and get doing planning within the planning phase using agile poker app and the same way you can basically use live share what will really happen is that the agile poker team uh, app will become center stage on your meetings and everybody can basically update their events update their information on uh, on this particular app and they can all come together and take the consensus right there within the team itself and uh, finally similarly uh, if you think about uh, uh, let's say assume you are a financial advisor and you know you basically uh, use a lot of PDF documents with your clients to kind of get review and get updates and you know get the final sign off before they sign it. All of that can happen right within the team's meeting now using this app. So you can get this, you can share the PDF contract, everybody can see where uh, everyone is. Uh, they can highlight text, they can update text on the PDF. So all of this can basically uh, ensure that uh, you know, uh, everything really happens within the team's meeting itself. So these are some of the scenarios where we uh, think that 
live share really adds a lot of value. But of course, there could be a lot more scenarios. Ultimately, uh, wherever you want to co-edit, co-create, uh, collaborate together with, within the meetings itself, you can just extend your meetings uh, app with the live share SDK capabilities. Now, moving on from the scenarios to what are the capabilities that we have within live share? So uh, at a high level, there are three sets of capabilities. One first is a live share, what we call the live share core itself. So when, when you think about live share core, it's the core, so to say, uh, the building block that powers some of the live share capabilities. So for example, um, if you want to see where everybody is, which is what we saw in the previous slide, you can see you could see folks and participants moving around, which is powered through something called live presence. So this live share core has those capabilities like live presence, where you can see where everybody is in the meeting so you can synchronize all the metadata of the user with that. Similarly, let's say uh, you want to send some real time events to other clients in the same session. All of uh, so all of that can be also possible within live share through something called live event. Uh, and similarly, let's say you want to, you know, synchronize a countdown timer with everybody else that, you know, once everyone starts, everybody can see that that can happen through live timers. So live share core helps you to really bring those core capabilities and sync that uh, data from one user participant to the other user participant when everybody is in the meeting. The second feature that we have is a uh, live share media or the, the second capability, so, so, so to say. So when it comes to live share media, so uh, some of the capabilities that we you know, discussed in, for example, the video edit scenario, which means that you really have to synchronize the media player content from one user to other user. All of that capabilities are built within the live share media. So it ensures that the media states are synced across users in case someone starts and pauses uh, let's say pauses the video at some place, it gets synced to everybody else in the meeting. In case someone resumes the video, everybody else uh, in the in the meeting can see that the video is resumed and they can act on it. So all the capabilities related to the media in terms of starting the media, resuming, play, pause, intelligently you know, adjusting media volume when users are talking, so automatically ensuring that the media volume is lowered. All those capabilities are built within the live share media. So that's the second set of capabilities that we have. And uh, finally, what we have is the live share canvas. Uh, so again, as the name suggests, a uh, live share canvas is think of it as a canvas that uh, with, which gets uh, you know, reflected on the meeting stage of your app on where you can actually then annotate things. So you can really add a collaborative canvas, which is your app or app center stage as such. And then on that you can, you know, use pens, you can use highlighters to highlight some things. You can uh, effectively point something using laser pointers. You can ensure that uh, you can follow along someone, you know, using these real time uh, cursors. So all those capabilities are enabled using the live share canvas. So three main capabilities, the live share core, the live share media and the live share canvas uh, that is out there available uh, within uh, as of now, both on desktop and mobile to use. So that's pretty much about the feature. Uh, so now what I'll do is I will go into the next slide, which has a slight, a small demo, uh, which basically uses the live share media capabilities to sync media. And it has, it's using the YouTube app, which has been built by Microsoft to basically, uh, you know, ensure that everybody is, uh, you know, hearing the media together and they can sync and pause. So let me go to the next slide. All right, so let me play this. Welcome to the demo of Teams platform capability live share using YouTube app. We will first see a demo in a group call. User Boris want to watch a short film with his friends. So he creates a group chat and ping them. Owen likes the idea and shares a YouTube link in the chat, which unfurl into a co-watch card. Richard starts the call. Once both Owen and Boris has joined the call, 
Richard goes to chat and shares video using share in meeting button from CoWatch card. Richard start the playback, but as he is not the owner of call, the video do not start for others. Then using option, he takes control and start video for all. He also enables group control for others so that they can also do see, play and pause. Owen seeks the movie ahead by using seat bar on his iPhone and using live share sync all user videos seats to the time. Perfect. So this was a quick small demo of uh, the live share capability using the live share media in the YouTube app. So as I mentioned in the last from the last one year uh, we have expanded this to mobile. Along with that we've also added support for uh, the deep link. That means what we saw in this particular video where you have a small link that you share and it expands into a larger card which has more details like the video link, the video image so that it gives more information to the users. So you can launch it directly from the deep link and along with that we have also added the support for anonymous users. That means users who have joined in the meeting anonymously can also now participate in these live share sessions. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, the capability and the feature that we have added recently for all of you. So uh, all this information is also available on our documentation portal for developers. And please do see if this is something that you find interesting for your partners in development scenarios. And in case you have any doubts, do reach out to us. Happy to help and uh, you know resolve any queries there. So yeah, that's pretty much from my side. Thank you, everyone. Excellent. Thank you, Supriti. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, great, great uh, demo as well. And a recap on, I, I, I especially love the fact that we're showing scenarios. Those are always super important. It's not about the technology. It's about what we can do with the technology is the key. Mm -hmm.